We are coming up on the June solstice, which will be on the 21st of June this year, so it's almost time for the next 24 hours sun tracking session. This will start at 12 midday on the 24th of June until 12 midday on the 25th. That's UK time, which is UTC plus one. We are looking for participants to share their observations real time via video at the sun tracking channel. For this, you'll need a sundial Homemade is fine, and the dimensions of which are up to you. You can also print our protractor. You'll need a gnomon, the taller the more accurate the reading, and a compass. This time we are not solely focusing on solar noon, but we'll be looking predominantly for simultaneous readings. So your reading alongside the readings from other people also looking at the sun at that very same moment. This time we'll fortunately have a 24 hour camera tracking the sun from within the Arctic Circle. That's the 24 hour sun. So we'll be able to correlate the sun's position from two points continuously from both the Arctic Circle and any other location from which we have a reading. To help pinpoint your location, please write your latitude and longitude clearly and place it within shot when sharing your shadow. Speaking of shadows, that is what we're looking for, shadows. We want to see how long your sundial's shadow is and in which direction it falls. The length of the shadow will help us determine the sun's elevation angle and the direction in which the shadow falls will help us determine your relative location. We can factor in magnetic declination, but we need a compass reading to do this. Your sundial should be vertical and on a level setting. A chopping board with a short gnomon is good. Remember, the taller the gnomon, the clearer the reading. For those who feel competent enough to set up a one meter gnomon sundial, please hang a plumb line from the top so we and everyone else can see that it is indeed vertical. Then, of course, you'll have to make sure your shadow is falling on a level surface. A flat board or plank will help us with this unless your ground happens to be totally flat. What you're seeing here is the math to figure out the elevation of the sun, but you don't have to worry about that. You can also join our group on Facebook for another way to keep in touch and up to date on sun tracking events. Thanks for your participation. So what will the experience for people contributing to the sun tracking be like? This is what it will be like. You will send an email. Once you've set up a gnomon and you have your compass and your coordinates written down nice and large. Um, you'll send an email to thesuntracking at gmail.com. I'll write it here. Well, about here, it'll show up in a second. That's where you will communicate with us outside of the actual Hangout. We will send you a link to a Hangout, which is not live. It's a link where we can establish that you have got the equipment set up correctly. We can help you if you're having problems with the Google plugin or anything like that. And um, in that Hangouts, once we've established that everything is good, uh, we will send you a link either through that Hangout or back through your email to the actual sun tracking Hangout. Then you will jump in and we will see what you're showing, we'll get to talk. It's a very good opportunity, by the way, um, for people from your country to see that there are other people in your country that are in engaging with this. Uh, I encourage people to give out your emails. If you want other flat earthers in your country to contact you, make sure you give out your email. Um, we'll make sure that, that uh, we write it out in the chat, uh, if it's in acrylic or a different um, alphabet. Um, then maybe you'll you'll have to do that yourselves um, but yes it would be a good opportunity for people to connect with other people who are also interested in discovering further details about this earth we find ourselves in details that it appears that academia and the sciences aren't actually looking at so unfortunately it's left to amateurs like us so this is what the hangout will be you will send an email you will receive an email back you'll be like ooh so then join that link you'll then chat with either me or vincent or chris or a couple of us um we'll walk you through uh, what anything that we need to walk you through we'll have a look to make sure that your nomen is vertical that you can establish that it's ver vertical on a flat surface 
Otherwise, Globlinks will dismiss any data that uh, conflicts with their information. We will have data, all the data is going to conflict with their information. Uh, because it turns out the sun is not something that can actually be triangulated. What it is and how it works, this is part of what we're trying to establish. Now, um, that's what will happen. We're looking for solar noon, but more importantly than solar noon, is multiple readings. So people from various different regions, areas, looking at the sun at the same time. We can take your elevation angle and your azimuth and at least approximate where the sun is and how it's behaving. Like I said, we can't really triangulate the location to the sun. It seems to be an apparition more than a, an actual body. That's just how it seems to behave. It's a bit like trying to triangulate a rainbow. You can't triangulate a rainbow. Um, so, this is what's going to happen. You will join, we'll make sure everything's okay. You'll have the link to the Hangout. You'll come on the Hangout. Um, if once we have your reading, uh, you're free to, to loiter. I'll be loitering all the time. Um, and you're free to share further details, observations, um, and like I said, your contact details, if you'd like people to join you um, that are from your, your country, maybe engage in social gatherings, maybe uh, contribute or collaborate on further experiments. The world's your oyster. And uh, yeah, it seems to be an oyster. Now, uh, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed see this little promo. Please pass this on to people that you think might be interested in contributing. It's not so complicated. You can have a chopping board. I have a chopping board with a five centimeter gnomon with a protractor which was printed out, which is in the description. You can print that protractor out, make sure it's actually printed out to the correct size. Five centimeter gnomon, but those who are more uh, ambitious can set themselves up with a one meter vertical gnomon. It's indispensable that you show it's vertical with a plumb line. The plumb line must be heavy enough that it won't waver ar around with the breeze. Um, but I take it that if you're already that ambitious, you, you'll know that already. So that's it. Thank you very much for your time. I look forward to seeing you on the sun tracking. Thank you.